Mali, no doubt, has been wallowing in the political turmoil since the military seized power in 2020 and has been under pressure to return the country to democratic rule. International partners and the country's military junta have been locking horns on issues of transition leading to growing tension, including the deterioration of Mali's relations with its former colonial power, France. To ensure smooth transition to civilian government, the West African regional bloc ECOWAS imposed sanctions on the country, including freezing its assets. On Wednesday, Malian Foreign Minister Abdullah Diop met his Togolese counterpart Robert Dosse in Lome to seek Togo's support in discussions with the international community. The Malian minister also met the Togolese president. The minister said his president and the Togolese government are ready to facilitate a fruitful dialogue between Mali and the international community. Mali's military leader, Asemi Koita, first seized power in August 2020 following protests over the government's handling of a war against the jihadist offensive in the country. He staged another goal in 2021 to ask the transition civilian leaders, accusing them of failing in their duties and trying to sabotage the transition to democracy. He was sworn in as interim president and an 18-month deadline was agreed for presidential and parliamentary elections to be held, according to ECOWAS. Until now, no election has been held, with the junta refuting international calls to organize elections in due course.